Welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, today I am talking about cover minders. What are they and how do people use them? So if you're new to diamond painting and you've maybe been browsing some groups and you see people talking about cover minders but you don't really know what they are, um, it, it's pretty simple. Um, what they use them for is to hold the cover paper back while they're working on the canvas. So I don't have a diamond painting here, obviously, but we're just going to pretend that this, this is um, a canvas and this is the glue. So if you were starting the canvas the way that I do it and I start in the bottom right hand corner, I may fold the paper back um, you can crease it but sometimes it still tries to fold um, but the way that I normally do this would be I would cut an area that I'm going to work so probably about that. So this would be stuck to the glue and I would peel this one back and take it back to here. Now as I said, you could try and crease it, but you're going to get bits sticking up and stuff. Sometimes it tends to flip. But it's more with the, the clear covers, which are a lot thinner than, than this waxy paper. Um, and they tend to flip back all the time. So um, I think people use them a lot more on the clear paper, uh, the clear cover. So what they are is basically this is one. You may have seen this guy before. It's, it can be pretty much anything, to be honest. Um, but the thing is, it has a magnet on the back and another magnet that sticks to it. So what I would do with this is I would fold this back. I would lift the canvas and I would put the small magnet at the back and then... And that's it. So what this is doing is it's stopping the paper from flipping back. It holds it in place. Um, and that is it. That's what they are. But there are many, many, many. Um, people are coming up with new uh, designs and things all the time. This is an example of one. A little teddy bear. Again, it's exactly the same. Two magnets. So it does exactly the same job. So sometimes if people are folding back a large area or a larger area than this, they might use two. So um, they might have one like this, it would be a bigger area and they would stick it here. Um, and there's another one just to give you an idea. And I think people seem to collect them and uh, they look for different things that they've not got, things they like the look of. Um, you get all different shapes and sizes. Um, but you'll see them uh, on pictures on works in progress sometimes they're just sort of scattered about and all they're doing is holding the paper down the other good thing about them is if you're working on your canvas and you're using a key like a sheet of paper like this you do not want this paper touching the glue because it'll stick and it'll rip um, and it'll basically ruin your key now this happened to my wife uh, during the summer she had her key was sitting beside the, the canvas and the window was open because it was a warm day and the gust of wind blew in. Her, her paper flipped up and landed in the glue. Um, if she had been using cover minders, and at that time I wasn't using them, um, this uh, doesn't happen because what you do again is you put your, your small magnet underneath And then you put your other magnet on top and that holds that in place and if you want to be sure you would maybe use two so again put the, the little magnet on the loop sticking to each other so little magnet underneath and the other one on top i think i've actually put that the wrong way because no i haven't it's just sitting that's it um, if you put them the wrong way, the magnets repel each other. This is a really, really thin one, but 
if uh, it, it wants to go that way. If I turn it around and try and put it on, it flips around. So you just have to make sure that the, the magnets are the right way around. Um, that, that is a, a really small one. It's not quite as strong as the bigger ones. Uh, the bigger ones have a stronger magnet. So you can probably even hear that that is pretty strong. So that is what they're used for. If you hear people talking about cover minders. And if you're looking to get cover minders, um, if you look on Etsy, uh, that's probably the best place you'll find stacks and stacks of them. And some people collect them, like I said, make collect teddy bears, make collect flowers, make collect whatever, just ice cream cones, um, all different things. So that's what they use them for. So if you hear about um, cover minders, that's what it is. So, short but sweet, uh, that is it. Diamond painting cover minders. Very, very handy things. Um, obviously, you can use other stuff to hold the paper down. Um, a cup, for example, or a little saucer or something. Um, they, they'll work, but the magnets uh, definitely hold things uh, better. And if you use a tilted table, uh, like I use, um, putting a saucer won't work because it will tend to slide down the table. The magnets will stay in place. So handy little things. Um, personally, I use them more for holding the key, uh, just, just in case the key gets knocked, that sheet of A4 paper, uh, just in case it gets knocked or the wind blows like happened to my wife, um, the sheet won't go anywhere. So you don't have to worry that it might gradually work its way over and stick itself to the glue. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing that I want to mention is I've now decided to do regular YouTube lives. Um, we did one on Saturday. Uh, did one with my wife. Uh, we had we had a good laugh. Um, it was the, the only the second one that I've done, and the first time that she's uh, came on YouTube. So um, it was it was fun. Uh, quite a few people joined in, and we're hoping that over time we get to know more people. Um, we don't just talk about diamond painting. We like to keep things upbeat, and we just go with the flow uh, when people come in and start talking about stuff. Um, so yeah, it was it was definitely fun. We both enjoyed it, and we're thinking now that. We're going to try and do one every Saturday evening at 8pm Copenhagen time. That's Central European time. Um, 8 o'clock till 9-ish. Um, the last one, I think it was 1 hour and 23 minutes. So we overran slightly. But uh, that, that wasn't a problem. So if you're interested in joining us and having a bit of a chat, um, really interested to speak to people around the world just about different things. Uh, if, you, if you're interested, um, please subscribe, hit the notification button, and you'll see uh, when we come on. Um, failing that, you can always watch the replay, and I will still be doing unbaggings, unboxings, comparings, all that sort of thing. So if any of that appeals to you, please subscribe. So that was it for today. Um, all I can say now is, in the meantime, take care, be safe, and wash your hands.